Sometimes who we are cannot easily fit into a single category. That's why in 1989, civil rights lawyer, professor, and philosopher Kimberly Williams Crenshaw coined the term intersectionality to describe how our identities can intersect and impact our experiences in the world. The documentary film, My Name is Polly Murray, examines the concept of intersectionality in more detail by revealing how writer and civil rights lawyer Polly Murray's many identities intersected to make her a target of multiple forms of discrimination on the basis of race, class, sexuality, and gender. My whole personal history has been a struggle to meet standards of excellence in a society which has been dominated by the ideas that blacks were inherently inferior to whites and women were inherently inferior to men. Born in 1910 and raised in Durham, North Carolina, Polly lived in an era when some Americans were not afforded the same rights and freedoms as others. But that didn't stop Polly from fighting for equity and fairness. In 1940, she was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on the bus for a white passenger, 15 years before Rosa Parks. Polly experienced class discrimination. Throughout her life, she wrote about her struggles with her sexuality. She even sought medical treatment because she felt like she was a girl who should have been a boy. The turmoil and the, the suffering this is a person who kind of just needed doctors to help in some capacity. Polly's multiple identities intersected to give her a unique perspective on how to fight for human rights. She wanted to make a difference in the world, so she studied law, ranking first in her class at Howard University. She petitioned those in positions of power to help bring about positive, lasting change. And by convincing lawmakers to expand the Civil Rights Act of 1964 beyond addressing race inequities to include rights and freedoms based on gender, later including sexual orientation and ability, Polly helped safeguard the rights of millions. Her sense of in-betweenness made her increasingly critical of boundaries. And that allowed her to make one of the most important ideas of the 20th century that the categories of race and gender are essentially arbitrary and not a legal basis for discrimination. What are all the different aspects of your identity that make you, you?